Hi, this is Kathy Ciceri, and for today's project, I wanted to make a solar eclipse slider that would show you what happens when you have a total eclipse and the moon passes in front of the sun. The sun's corona will light up and you'll also be able to see some stars. For this project, I used Chibitronics animating white fade stickers as well as their regular white LED stickers. I also used foam tape from Barely Art that comes in strips and cubes, the Chibitronics conductive fabric tape, and to make the connection on the slider switch, I used a coin, in this case, a nickel. Let's take a quick look at the templates you're going to be using. The first one is the pull tab slider. This is the moon that is going to cause our eclipse. It gets taped onto the end of this pull tab on the back of which has this nickel that's going to be the uh, conductive part that closes our circuit. And this part is going to fold up along these lines to create a little handle to help you pull that tab. Next, we have the circuit itself. As always, the blue lines indicate the negative part of the circuit and the red lines indicate the positive. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six LEDs that will be attached. The ones that are on the corona are the animating fade LEDs and the rest are regular white LEDs. Then I have a masking layer here. I printed it on the darkest paper I had. I'm gonna be cutting out these sections and they will create a star-shaped light and corona-shaped light coming through. I also have a piece of vellum to help uh, diffuse that light. And then this is going to be the front of the design. This is the sun that'll get colored in. This part gets cut out. That's the channel that the tab will slide back and forth in. And then finally, I have the earth that will just get cut off here and cover over that channel so that all you see is the moon going back and forth. Let me show you how to finish the circuit. For the most part, even though it's pretty twisty and windy, it's pretty straightforward. You're gonna make one negative trace that goes here and the positive trace that goes there. To connect the LEDs to the traces, I used shorter pieces of tape and I made sure to press them down really tightly with a bone folder. So I'm using a, there we go, 2016 battery for this. The negative trace comes up all the way there. And what I'm gonna do to hold it on is make a little loop sticky side out with the conductive tape, press that on really well. And then I'm going to take one more piece and press it onto the top of the battery. The other thing to make sure here, this is a very skinny battery. You shouldn't have that problem, but you don't want it to touch the sides because that can cause a short circuit. So you, it's fine to leave that little gap there. And now we know the circuit's working we can go on to the next step. Now I'm gonna show you what to do with the next layers. This is what's gonna be showing on the front and you can color it in with your favorite markers as I did here. That And I also colored in the Corona on the vellum layer. And I did this before I attached it so it didn't bleed through to anything. But the hope is that when there's light behind it that you'll see some of that color coming through there. So let me just show you how that was done. Here is that masking layer and the vellum gets taped on the back opposite the printing. And then we've got the front layer and I've already put the tape on the back so I'm trying not to stick it to anything else and I've already cut out the opening where the slider is going to go. So this goes face down and this layer also goes face down with the vellum on the back and then you're just going to match those corners up. I do have tape around the opening there 
And I haven't cut the second opening yet, but I'll do that after I get these two connected. Be okay there. So I'm just going to actually cut this opening here by following the opening that's already there. And that way I don't have to worry about these two matching up. And from there, we can put everything together with the circuit and build our switch. So we're at the point where we want to attach some foam tape so that we can put that top layer on that has the mask and the vellum. And right before I sealed the whole thing up, I decided I wanted to have a way to change the battery. So what I did was where that battery was just glued on directly, I made a little strip. I put some tape that goes all the way around and I used that same loop to hold it on here. I made a little channel for it with that strip tape. And then I made a little flap. There's kind of three layers here taped on and the conductive tape connects to the positive side of the circuit and the bottom still connects to the negative. And when our switch is on and this thing is pressed down because that top layer is going to be there, hopefully I have a battery that will stay on and that I can pull out and change when I need to. So with my makeshift battery tray all ready to go, I've peeled off the protective layers of all of the foam tape, as far as I can tell. And now I'm going to very, very carefully line up the upper layer here and the bottom layer. Okay, let's see if everything still lights up. And my battery tray is working as well. All right, so the last thing is to make the moon that is going to eclipse our sun. Here is my prototype. Uh, the moon is there. It's the same size as the sun, which is why we get a total eclipse when the moon appears to completely cover the sun. The nickel is our switch that will conduct electricity and turn on those lights. And the tab itself I made from a little heavier cardboard I actually had some uh, heavy duty paper plates that I cut up and I used some of that foam tape to make the a nickel fit into that groove that we've created for it to slide into. So let me show you how to do that. This is using the template. I um, made the tab the same length. I actually put some more of that cardboard on the back for some reinforcement because the nickel's heavy and because this part of the tab has to be held upright like that. This is the little handle that's just a folded piece of paper here. And what I do to get nice folds is I score it with just a pencil. So I'm just going to go over those fold lines with a pencil. And that just gives it enough of a score that you can fold it easily. So the instructions on the template tell you the solid lines on the ends here get folded up. If you're an origami person, that's a valley fold, and then the dotted lines get folded down. So here's that handle, same as that. And then this is going to get taped on over where the nickel's going. Let's put the nickel on first. So I actually have another little extra piece of cardboard there to make it stick out even a little bit more. I'm not sure we need that or not, but I can probably add that. It probably will not hurt. So put this piece of cardboard here, and now I'm going to 
use some foam tape to attach the nickel. I'm using the strips and I'm going to put two strips so that the nickel doesn't bounce around and just little short pieces. And I think I have it going this way. So it's going vertically. And I'm going to put the nickel, let's put Jefferson's face sticking up here. Okay, so there's my nickel sticking up. And then we need two strips of tape here. And for these, we're going to leave that protective paper on. And that's going to become the sliders for our switch, which will work like that. Okay, I think we've got, and then I colored in the uh, moon from the template just so it's a little easier to see. And I'm just going to use the double sided tape again, which is right here. And put that right there. And what we want is to line up the switch so that the lights are on. And I'm going to turn the overhead light off a little bit. Turn this one down a little bit so you can see those lights are lit. And then our moon needs to be right there. So the last part is to make the handle that's going to fit on our um, sliding switch here, like that. And it's going to fit inside the slot. So let's see where we want it to be. If this part of our earth is Wind up with the bottom here, and our handle should go right there. And that was going to go right here, I believe. And then the other one is going to get pushed up right against it. This way, like this. Okay, so there's our handle. And we can actually just kind of wiggle it through here. So our slider sits in that little tray there, it goes back and forth. I'll use that foam tape again to give the slider some room to move. there. Get this lined up. And here is our lunar eclipse. For more projects, go to chibitronics.com. And to find my stuff, go to kathysaseri.com. Thanks. Bye.